Uh, the next thing is um, embedding third-party content. So we certainly recognize that most of our customers, um, certainly all the large ones, have more than one BI tool. Um, you know, they might have, depending on the size of the company, they may have you know, seven, eight, nine, uh, but you know, most have two or three. So you know, obviously, look, you know, with the, the situation it is um, with the you know the pandemic that we're in, but just even from um, you know maintenance and, and governance point of view, many customers and many um, companies are looking to have some kind of standardization. You know, maybe it's going from six to three or from you know eight to, to four or something like that. But there is a desire to standardize uh, both from a license, um, you know, license cost, maintenance cost, and just the IT investment required to keep all of these things going. So, you know, our idea is that if we can let you leverage or let our customers leverage content that they may particularly like that they authored in, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, Power BI or Tableau, and, you know, be able to leverage that in a, in a Cognos dashboard, um, you know, you are able to you know, leverage that investment, you're able to uh, reuse it, you know, reuse content that you've already built. You've got a familiar um, visualization or experience that customers have become used to or users have become used to, but you also then get a degree of governance and, and control that maybe wasn't there on these other tools. So, you know, we see this as a, you know, a great opportunity for us to um, be maybe the binding agent for, um, you know, having multiple tools in an environment, because I think that's going to be the case for the foreseeable future. You know, when I'm talking to customers, I'm not hearing very many who are just saying, okay, I'm going with this one vendor and that's it. Yeah. So I think, you know, having multiple tools of play are, are going to be, it's going to be a reality for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I, I agree completely. I mean, in our customer base, you just don't see a ton of, um, of yeah, you know, we're all, we're, we're kicking all eight of the other ones out and just standardizing down on one, right? That's, that's um, not something people are doing. I am curious. Yeah. Um, so if, if you do import something from Tableau, I mean, is the idea then that it would be able to it, like interact with the other widgets on in the dashboard? If I were to filter, have a cut filter in Cognos, would it be possible for it to pass that filter value into the Tableau visualization? Uh, certainly that would be the vision. Um, I'm, you know, it's going to be people, you know, way smarter than me figuring out how to make that work. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, that would, you know, ideally that would be the, I mean, I, I guess it depends on, it depends on the, you know, the data source. It depends on lots of things. Um, how easy that'll be to do, but you know, most definitely, we would love to have that that experience. We have a question too. Um, some positive feedback on on what they're seeing here. Then the the following question is: Well, would it be possible to to import third party data objects like a Power BI or Tableau model? Is that something you're considering at all? Um, you know, that may be something that we look at downstream, you know, um, to your point earlier, uh, a minute ago, Ryan, uh, you know, even when, when I'm talking to customers who've decided, okay, this is going to be our, our direction moving forward, everything from here on in is going to be this vendor, you know, they're not talking about rewriting everything they've already got, you know, they're, they're talking about keeping that, keeping it around, but anything new, they'll, you know, that's going to be their standard moving forward. So, you know. I think we would definitely love to get to a point where we can do that. Um, I think the highest priority right now, uh, you know, certainly from the use cases that we've been looking at, is just leveraging the content that's going to, you know, has all of the business users and the consumers um, looking at it day in and day out. Very cool. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see this in action. It's kind of a mind-blowing feature you've got here. <laughs>